I want to give you three things, just three little things that they all have in common. First of all, a good idea, a good fit, and a good plan, and those things make up a winning proposal. What do those three things mean? Let's unpack that slowly. So, first of all, a good idea. Now, we're talking very much sp uh, specifically about research grant proposals. So, it, they involve research. So, a key element of success is that it has to be novel. There has to be something novel in all of this. What is fresh? What is new? What is creative about this? So, elements of novelty, significance for advancing the knowledge field, or important potential applications. That's what makes up a good idea. All right, you've got to show this, that this is fresh and new and different, and it's going to advance the knowledge field, or it's going to have key applications, important applications. So depending on your research, applications might not be a key component. So, so if you're doing mathematics, pure mathematics, Maybe there are no direct applications. The applied mathematics, obviously, there are a lot of applications. If you're dealing in, uh, uh, you know, in paleo, maybe applications aren't that important. But don't think applications in terms of engineering, you know, sort of creating a new app or something like that. But it might be an, an application that is relevant to the field. Knowing this will enable us to do some other type of research. And these things need to stand out in your proposal. So remember I talked to you about flagging by using a subheading or starting a sentence with what's novel about this research. Because those sort of things are easy picked up by the reviewer's eye and then they can go to what's novel. Okay, research proposals have to have an element of novelty. Now, let's unpack what novelty means. Oh, sorry. Um, I've actually taken that slide out. But novelty doesn't necessarily mean brand, brand new. Maybe you've got it, yes. This quote, um, this quote in, in your notes I'm referring to now. So, novelty doesn't necessarily mean brand, brand new. Never been studied before. Okay? It's a lot more subtle than that. So, Reading that quote, you'll see you can, what you can do is apply new thinking to an old problem, an, an old question. You can apply a new technique. You can apply different techniques. You can combine things in a different way. Um, you can use new material to study an old problem. All of those sort of things help you create something that is novel. So it doesn't have to be brand, brand new, never been seen before.